Hello everybody, my name is Mark Bisiaki, director of The Baton, and here's how we made the movie. To talk about how we made this film, we have to break this into three parts. Part number one, the story. This is a film about a son who unfortunately lost his father in a car accident and is coping with the fact that his father is gone by doing the best thing he knows, is to run. This was inspired by the Black Panther movie and how the T'Challa character was able to go to the ancestral plane and meet his father once again, which led us to the question of this film. What if you could hear the person that you lost once again? Once successfully crafting the story, we got to the second part, which is cinematography. For this film, we needed a track for actors, the dad, son, teenage version of the son, and a child version of the son. After finding those great, fantastic actors, we were able to film. We filmed for about three, four days, and after shooting all the footage, we found it was extremely difficult for people to understand the film after we made a couple drafts. So we decided to add a visual cue by turning all the characters that were not the main character black and white and signifying the actual main character would also change once they touch the main object, which is the baton. So we added a visual cue through After Effects by rotoscoping each character and simply changing their colors to black and white. After getting the visuals done, we finally were able to move on to probably the most important part of this film, which is the sound. Because of this being the Rode Film Competition, we wanted to focus in on the audio. So we got the Rode NGT2, and on the day of shooting, we recorded all kinds of audio. Background noise, people's footsteps, ambient sounds, and also the father's voiceover as a reference point. We didn't want to make this film too complicated by adding a ton of dialogue, so we made it simple by only having audio of the father's monologue. We knew that we were going to be in a studio afterwards, so we recorded a reference point and then in the studio recorded his ADR. After recording his audio and making sure that it was mixed down, we finally were able to record a soundtrack. By going to Milton, our sound engineer's studio, we were able to film a soundtrack from scratch that was moving a little sad, but also hopeful. Ultimately, once putting all these pieces together, we made this film with several challenges and with several wins. And after completing it, we are pretty happy with the final product. It's not perfect, but it's great. And I hope you like it. 